Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to add rounded corners with border radius. Um, this one has multiple uh, ways to solve it. Basically we want to, uh, your cat photo currently has sharp corners. You can round out the corners using a property called border-radius. You can specify border-radius with pixels. Give your, cat, give your cat photo a border radius of 10 pixels. And so it says that there's multiple ways to do this. The border radius, to, you can either add it to here or to here, smaller images or to thick green border. Why is it between these or these? If you go down to your image tag, which is here, we'll notice that if we specify this out, I just press command tab, I commented it out, you see that the only thing that disappears is the cat photo. And so when we look in here, we see that there's an anchor, meaning that there's a link, and then we see this is the image tag. And so if we look at the class, remember class and period go together, we have smaller image, and then it's separated by space, and then thick green border, separated by space, which means class, thick green border, class, smaller image. So what we can do is add border radius of uh, 10 pixels to small image. And you see over here, the image has already given the, uh, has been given the rounded corners. If I take it away by cutting it, by pressing command X and cutting it away, the um, sharp edges are there again. And if I copy that into here, you see that it goes round. So it's really a, a decision, it's an architecture decision to choose whether your small image has rounded border or your image that has thick green border has rounded image. If you did it to both sides, it, oh, if you did it to both sides, <clears throat> uh, it wouldn't matter because they would overwrite each other and whichever one was lower. So the smaller image would be the one that actually initiated, uh, instantiated the uh, rounded corners. So this should pass our test. So I'm gonna run the test. Boom. That's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and share this video if you found it useful and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.